first thing I'm going to do is just show you the notes of the riff. Starts with the fifth fret on the low E string right here. You got fifth on the D and sixth on the G, but we're going to slide from a half step lower. So the next thing we're going to do is hammer on from the 5th to the 7th, like that. And there's a, that Chucky in there. And a big part of, uh, you know, like a John Mayer sound is the concept of being able to kind of mute strings and get... And so the way I'm doing that, if it's between the D, or the fifth of the D and the seventh of the D, I'm, I, this is how I do it personally, is I'm using my index and my pinky, and then the rest, I'm kind of palming it like that. And then I move my index finger over, but I'm still got that palm feeling. And I move my pinky over to that, and I'm still kind of palming it with my hand. That will be good. But so we're gonna go like this, index finger into that. So we're going down, up with the mute. Down, up, hammer on. So the next thing is and I'm playing the fifth of the A, then the eighth of the low E, but I'm giving it a little quarter tone nudge. And we like that, that's a tasty sound. So check it out. One more time. So check it out, the first chord, C sharp minor, the very first thing he does, instead of playing the full bar chord, he plays where my ring finger normally is, and that's the uh, 11th fret of the A string, coming from that chord, and then he skips the D string and plays the G string, which is the 9th fret. And you gotta get that middle string muted a bit. You know, you could throw your thumb over to the... And I'm just muted everything except... Another kind of, you know, John Mayer. Next, we're going to go down a harmony of the E major scale. And we're going to go like this. Ring finger on the 11th fret of the D index finger on the ninth fret of the G. Then, middle finger to the eighth fret of the D and index on the seventh fret of the G. So it's, so here's everything we have so far. Next thing is going to be a two double stop. So we're going to cover the 11th fret on the A and D, and then a whole step down. I think I saw him use his pinky in middle, so it'd be like. Thumbs off. Check it out. Fingers already in the right, right on the right string, which is the D string. We're going to slide it up to the 11th. 
So the second time, instead of the A string on the 11th, he's doing the D string on the 11th, just to mix it up. Both of those notes are in that entire chord. That's the first one. Now, we're on the D. That's the same, and this is the same. But from here, it's a little different. Index on the 12 of the high E and ring on the uh, 14th of the B. And then we go all the way up to the 16th fret of the high E and the 17th fret of the B. So we've got And we hit this again, then ring goes down a half step and index goes to the 14 of the high E. So we got, so here it is again. Whole step down, same thing. Index goes a half step down, middle goes to the 12 of the B. So we got, back up to this one. So here it is. So that last chord comes from the E major chord, but we're gonna have index on the uh, seven, the high E, ring on the nine or the B. So we got Starts the same way, does that much, and then we, we can take this little shape, glue it together, and just move it to where the index is on the B of the 12 and the 13 of the G. Now this part I could not make out with my ear. I mean, I learned this whole thing by ear and it's just muddled down there in the mix, but it's one of two choices, either which would just be this, then the same thing down a whole step, and then just covering the um, ninth fret of the G and the B. Or, which is a little darker sounding, you keep that note as this travels.